Hey, everybody. <clears throat> day six of math. Here's our math poem for the day with the math riddle from Grapes of Math. Doggone it. Prairie dogs don't hunt or bark. They won't protect you in the dark. Instead, they burrow digging holes, making tunnels just like moles. Can you count the empty mounds? It's best to just subtract the mount hounds. So, there are lots of mounds, but I see one, two, three, four that are not empty. So, let's see. One, two, three, four. Oh, each row has four. Four plus four is eight. Oh no, that doesn't add that. This one has one, two, three, four, five. This one has four. This one has five. This one has four. So two groups of five is ten. And one, two, three, four, fours. 4 plus 4 is 8, and 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 plus 8 is 16, and 16 plus 10 is 26, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 that are not empty, and 26 minus 4 is 22. Twenty-two empty burrows. Yesterday we did 3 o'clock and everybody was getting ready for dinner. They're not doing 4 o'clock, which is the big hand at the 12 and the little hand at the 4. They're going right to 5 o'clock. What kind of things do we usually do around 5 o'clock in the afternoon? The rabbit family is getting ready for supper. Gray Rabbit is here. Hooray, it's time for dinner and carrot cake. Oh, what bunny wouldn't love carrot cake? Big hand on the 12, little hand on the 5. Analog clock looks like that. What do you have for dinner? Do you have dinner at the same time every day? Mostly. Grandma's house, we usually had supper around 5.30. A little bit more about money. What kinds of metal have been used to make money? When people first decided that metal was the best material to use for money, they used the metals found locally. These metals varied from place to place. Gold, silver, bronze, and copper and iron were the most common metals used. But lead and tin were also used. A natural mixture of gold and silver called Electrum was used in Lydia around 600 BC. Nuggets of Electrum were found in rivers. Later coins made of gold and silver became the most valuable. The first people used these metals weighed pieces of gold and silver to decide how much they were worth. Some early metal money was shaped into specially designed pellets or trinkets that were called given a certain value. Words to note, to mint, a mint. To mint means to make coins out of metal. A mint is a place where the coins of a country are made. Some mints are nice to eat, but not these mints. When was money first minted? By 700, each Greek city had its own district, flat piece, distinct piece of flat metal that was stamped with a picture or a design. These were the first true coins. By 500, coins were being used by as money regularly in Greece and Rome. How did money get its name? From the old Latin word moneta, which was the first name given to the place in ancient Rome where the money was first made and stored. There we go. All right. <clears throat> you guys will like this one, Joy. The Icky Bug Counting Book by Jerry Pilato. Illustrated by Ralph Masselio. Icky bugs. That's not an icky bug. That's a beautiful luna moth. <clears throat> if 
But when he says icky bugs, they usually are kind of icky. Ooh, that's not an icky bug. That's a beautiful tiger-striped butterfly. Let's find out about it. Here is a zebra swallowtail butterfly on a flower. Butterflies taste things with their feet. Can you imagine if people tasted their ice cream cones with their feet? Ew. Okay, that's pretty icky. But it's still a beautiful butterfly. Two. One, two. Let's see what those things are. They look like some kind of, oh, a beetle, a fly. Flies may have gotten their name because they fly so well. On this page, there are two yellow jacket flies. They are often mistaken for yellow jacket wasps, but yellow jacket flies do not sting. Well, that doesn't seem so icky if they don't sting. But I bet they don't get eaten much because people think other birds and that think they are fuzzy bees. One, two, three. Three elegant crab spiders are walking in a branch looking for insects to eat. It's hard to believe anyone would name a spider elegant. All spiders have eight legs and most even have eight eyes. I'm not sure about the eight eye thing. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, those are paper wasps. And they're building their nests. Paper wasps chew on wood. They mix the chewed up wood with their saliva to make paper nests. Wasps could make paper thousands of years before people learned how to. Those, when you see them around, you go tell daddy so he can knock them down. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five monarch butterflies. They're not icky. Butterflies rest with their wings straight up. Here we have five Vic Viceroy butterflies. Birds do not eat these good-tasting butterflies because they look almost exactly like the bad-tasting monarchs. I wouldn't want to eat either, would you? Grandma thought those were monarchs too, but they're not. They're the mimicker. Viceroy ones. How about that? Ooh. <coughs> Six, these are hard to find. They are six underwing moths on this page. Underwings hide by blending in with the bark of tree. Every now and then they show their colorful underwings. All moths rest with their wings down. Okay, let's look hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to see them on the bark of the tree. <clears throat> Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. It's time to count. Here are seven trap jaw ants. Ouch! They capture other bugs with their huge jaws. I don't think I'd like to visit with those. Oh, eight. Those stink bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bright green stink bugs are crawling on these branches. If a person picks up a stink bug in his hands with small, they smell awful. Stink bugs is the perfect name for these smelly bugs. Nine colorful red milkweed beetles are walking on these leaves. These bugs lay their eggs on milkweed plants. Thousands and thousands of different kinds of beetles live all over the world. Monarch butterflies like milkweeds too. Ten! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The caterpillars. Are they bugs? What do caterpillars turn into? Butterflies. 
There's an old saying, everybody wants to be a butterfly, but nobody wants to be a caterpillar. <laughs> Every butterfly was a caterpillar before it became a butterfly. On this page, there are 10 question mark caterpillars. They will become 10 question mark butterflies. Why are they called question marks? Good question. Eleven. Pill bugs are not really bugs. These 11 pill bugs are roly polies, are crustaceans, just as lobsters and crabs are crustaceans. If you touch a pill bug, it will roll itself into a ball and look like a little pill. Pill bugs also look like tiny armadillos. But it's more fun to call them roly polies. 12. Ah, tree hoppers are great jumpers. These 12 oak tree hoppers look like thorns. Their shape allows them to hide near real thorns and makes them hard to find. My grandma wasn't sure there were bugs there at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Thirteen. Her little ones there. On these pages are thirteen nut weevils. Weevils are bugs that have very long mouths. Many people have heard of boll weevils. These bugs are in cotton crops. Not many people have heard of nut weevils. What would you like if your first name was Nut? I bet they eat nuts. Nut weevils. Fourteen. Millipeds. Are running around. Gardeners welcome millipedes because they chew up wood and turn it into plant food. The word millipedes means 1,000 legs. Millipedes don't really have 1,000 legs, but they do have a lot of them. Fifteen. What are those? Longhorn beetles. They are, don't really have horns. They have long antennas. And it would be pretty funny if longhorns cattle had antennas. Longhorn beetles. Fifteen. Sixteen. Don't count the dead grasshopper. Oh, that's not the bugs. These are called kissing bugs, but they don't kiss other bugs. They bite other bugs in the face, usually around the mouth. Kissing bugs are not very nice. Those are the kissing bugs, but don't count the dead grasshopper. That it probably killed. 16, 17. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. These seventeen metal looking bugs are called jewel beetles. Like other bugs, jewel beetles have a shell on the outside of their bodies that's called an echoskeleton. The skeleton means that there's words that the skeleton is on the outside of their bodies. Bugs do not have bones on their insides, but we do. We have an endoskeleton. 18. Grandma had her finger over one. Hard to count them. Got them. There are 18 ironclad beetles. They probably got their names because their bodies are so hard. Their white bodies with black spots made them look like the dogs that are called Dalmatians. Nineteen. Underground, trying to stay cool in the very hot desert, are 19 honeypot ants. 
Some fill their bodies with water and honey and hang upside down to feed the other ants during the long dry season. People eat these ants because they taste good. Ooh, 20. Fireflies. See a ball? There are 20 glow worms glowing in the dark. Glow worms are not worms. Years ago, anything that was long and wiggly was called a worm. These glow worms are really beetles. So not fireflies, glow worms. 21. How did the dog sneak into this book? This Irish setter has 21 fleas. You can't count them because fleas are so tiny, they're really hard to find. This collar should, dog should take a bath and get a flea collar. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Jerry. 22. <clears throat> 22 eyed clicked beetles are on this page. Click beetles flip themselves over by snapping their bodies. They make a clicking sound when they flip over. Click. Some flick is high. Click and flip as high as four or five inches. Click beetles. Twenty-three. Can you count the 23 daddy long legs on this page? Although these centipede creatures have eight legs, they are not spiders. Has anyone ever seen a mommy long legs? 24 cicadas. Count them. You don't need grandma's help. You can do it. <coughs> Cicadas are the loudest of all bugs. They can be heard from almost a quarter of a mile away. The 24 cicadas on this page are periodical cicadas. They stand underground for 17 years. Maybe they should have been on page 17. Don't forget to count the ones that are underground. 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Did you find them all? 25 blister beetles are walking around in the desert sand. Blister beetles squirt a liquid that causes blisters on people. Yuck! Icky! Actually, blister beetles are not that bad. Some are used to make medicines that help people. I still wouldn't want to touch one. 26. Can you find them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Count the 26 army ants on this branch. They must be lost. Army ants are usually seen by groups of 500,000 to three quarters of a million at a time. Army ants have no permanent nests because they are almost always moving. Small animals such as mice, snakes, lizards, and other bugs run as fast as they can to escape marching army ants. Did you wonder why this book counts up Number 26, here's a clue. The elegant crab spider has a scientific name, Zystus elegansis. Shh, shh, if you know, don't tell anyone. By the way, this butterfly is called an 88 butterfly. It only does have the number 88 on the underside of the wing, just like the question mark butterfly. It's a white question mark on the underside of its wing. The 88 is a perfect insect for the icky bug counting book. Icky bugs! I think we'll do that today. Enjoy your day. Grandma loves you.